What's up, YouTube? Clifford08 here this morning. So, right now I am on my way to Kansas City to Micro Center to pick up a new motherboard because one of my my new mining rig that I built has not been very stable as far as running with six GPUs and I talked about that briefly in my new video about building that mining rig so just a heads up don't buy any Z170 chipset motherboards because you might be able to get more than four GPUs chances are you won't you might be able to get more than four GPUs to run on a Z170 by updating your BIOS and changing some of the settings around in BIOS but it's very unstable and I can't stand that I I appreciate 100% uptime which is what I currently have on one of my other builds so I'm going to exchange it for a Z270 which apparently fixed some of the the PCI Express problems that they were having apparently they opened up more more lanes on the motherboards so that you can add more more GPUs so that's that's what I'm doing this morning I wanted to talk about an article that I read this morning and unfortunately I read it on Coindesk which I know that I'm supposed to be boycotting because of Omar Bam. I don't know if you guys know about that situation, but I'm supposed to be boycotting Coindesk right now and not reading any of their articles. Unfortunately, my phone picks up articles for me and just shows me the title and doesn't tell me where it's from. And so I clicked on this link to this really interesting title and I I read it and then I realized oh shit this is on Coindesk but it was a really great article and I kind of wanted to talk about it so it was basically talking about how in order for cryptocurrencies to grow we're going to need some more failures in our community and that didn't really occur to me as a user, an investor, because I've been in the cryptocurrency market for a while now, but for people that are just getting into it, they probably don't realize that they're going to have to, you know, make a few mistakes before they get it right. Like, me personally, I know I've made a shit ton of mistakes in the cryptocurrency verse. Like, I've sold things that I'm meant to hang on to. I've lost wallets on hard drives. <laughs> I've failed to back them up. <laughs> like, I've made all sorts of mistakes in the cryptoverse. And without those mistakes, I wouldn't be where I am today knowing the things that I know. And it's the same thing as far as programming goes. Like, programmers can't make a solid product without having a few hiccups along the way. As far as security goes. Like, let's take, for example, the Ethereum hack last year with the DAO. That hacker stole millions of dollars in their attack. But guess what? The Ethereum devs learned from that. They forked the chain, and just yesterday, that same hacker tried hacking the Ethereum network, and guess what happened? The Ethereum devs were on top of their shit, and they made sure that that hacker could not hack the network by implementing new security changes. So that's awesome. They learned from their mistakes, they grew, and as a whole, the community grew. So these things have to occur for us to be able to 
grow in the cryptoverse. So I thought that was really interesting. I, uh, I'll probably think some more about it and come up with some more examples for that. But moving on, I also wanted to talk about Russia. I don't know if you guys have read anything about Russia lately. They plan on making Bitcoin a commodity to be able to exchange legally by 2018. So in about six months from now, I believe they should have um, the legality behind that. But the reason that's important Oh shit, was I supposed to take that? I think I was supposed to take that exit, guys. Man. Anyways. The reason I bring this up is because I was reading an article yesterday that stated Russia is planning on creating their own cryptocurrency. Their own government-run cryptocurrency. And that's funny to me because the, the State Department over there has come out and said that Bitcoin will never be seen as a currency in the state of Russia. So it's really funny to me that they're creating their own cryptocurrency and going to be calling it a currency, but yet Bitcoin will not be called a currency. But it makes more sense to me now because they're creating their own and they don't want to have to compete with Bitcoin as a currency. So <laughs> that's that's some funny stuff right there. That about wraps up all that I wanted to discuss this morning with you guys. Don't make the same mistakes that I have, guys, as far as uh, this mining rig. Don't buy a Z170 motherboard. Just go ahead and buy something that you know works and will be functional with more than four GPUs. Alright, that's it for this morning. Clayford08 out.